Secret facial recognition scanners were used at the Super Bowl this year to identify virtually everybody in attendance, running them through federal and local criminal databases to identify anybody with criminal records, warrants, or other persons of interest. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say they did this at this year's Super Bowl? I meant they've been doing it for the last 13 Super Bowls. Here's an article from Wired Magazine dating back to 2001, which was the first known test of the facial recognition scanners. And uh, it made the news a couple diff in a couple different outlets back then, 13 years ago. But when I last checked, there wasn't a single peep in any mainstream article or really any blog about this year's facial recognition scanning system. I'm sure that they just abandoned it, right? I'm sure that I'm just a conspiracy theorist thinking that they haven't refined the technology over the last 13 years and just abandoned this form as this year's Super Bowl had the highest surveillance tech snipers, uh, helicopters, jets deployed over, right? Oh, wait, what's this? Trap wire? Oh, oh yes, I guess uh, WikiLeaks has uncovered uh, a couple years ago the trap wire, T-R-A-P-W-I-R-E, uh, -E system, uh, which proves that the, um, the government has been secretly using facial recognition scanning systems on uh, systems in major cities, in airports, government buildings, and other security cameras. And to try to attempt to prevent this information about a trap wire from being deployed, when WikiLeaks uh, leaked the documents, which were only revealed after, uh, what's his name, hacked into the Stratfor email uh, system, you know, Stratfor, the intelligence front, private um, intelligence firm that does the dirty work of the CIA. Yeah, so when WikiLeaks leaked this uh, proof, they were hit with a distributed denial of service attack by the government, of course, trying to prevent information from being deployed uh, and, and known about this. So very little has been reported on this. I guess, oh, NBC says, oh, well, is, is Trapwire really surveillance, really spying on Americans? Uh, uh, no, no, it's just, just for terrorists. They just use that technology in foreign countries, America. Of course, this was pre-Edward Snowden, and uh, facial recognition systems have been used in private uh, companies like casinos, who just have an endless supply of money from suckers turning it over. Uh, I reported on this in my 2011 book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True, uh, where since around the early 2000s, Many casinos have been using facial recognition scanners and LPRs, license plate readers, to identify every single person that comes into their casino. And they do this, of course, to identify card counters, people who have been put in the Griffin book. Uh, because before these facial recognition scanners, if a known card counter or cheater was kicked out of the casino, security would have a black book or the Griffin book and they would have to flip through it and memorize and refresh their memory about what these people looked like. And so since the casinos have an endless supply of money from suckers dreaming to hit it big, uh, they have been using facial recognition scanners for about 15 years now. And let me just refer you again to the Super Bowl Face Scan 1 back in 2001. That's correct, 13 years ago. Uh, the Super Bowl was using facial recognition scanners. Now, police are using facial recognition scanning handheld devices. This is a, an article out of uh, my local San Diego NBC affiliate that the police are using facial recognition scanners. By the way, they have the ability to literally comb YouTube for facial recognition targets. And just if you're in a YouTube video somewhere, they can just find you. Uh, also, there's a lot of... Google Glass apps and other uh, HMD head-mounted display devices that are preparing to launch facial recognition scanning software that purport to be able to identify people with a, quote, criminal record uh, when you come across them and when they come into your field of view with your Google ass on your face, uh, I'm sorry, your Google Glass, and many Psychos are uh, building apps and anticipating apps that will then pick out women uh, that you come across, and then it will find their Facebook page. I, I, of course, I warned about this in my 2011 book, 
Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. You should probably pick up a paperback copy or get it on your e-reader. It's not in stores. It's on Amazon.com. Where I warned in detail that psychos, losers, perverts, stalkers would be using this kind of technology. And so people are actually developing this tech uh, to then pick out women and just find their Match.com profile or find them on any number of dating sites, or their Facebook, etc., their LinkedIn profile. Um, so we're taking cyberstalking to a whole new level with these loser applications here as the Un Orwellian nightmare unfolds. So just a heads up, of course, I'm sure that this was a uh, national security event. That's why literally at this moment, zero reports of facial recognition scanners at the Super Bowl have been reported because, of course, the government doesn't want you to realize that the trap wire system has been in place since, um, oh man, was it early, like mid-2000s, I think? Uh, so they're just plugging in, you know, CCT cameras, security cameras on the streets uh, in D.C., in Seattle, in Chicago, in, in most major cities, Los Angeles, Atlanta, to uh, use existing security cameras to then facial recognition scan everybody. And big box stores are planning on using these. They may already be, be using this. I, I heard rumors that uh, certain big retailers are already using these systems. And there's restaurants that are using them as well. So that when you walk into a Target or a Best Buy or a shopping mall, it will just automatically identify you. And that's the kind of world we're going to be living in, apparently, if we don't stop this Orwellian nightmare. And we very well may be living in a New World Order Big Brother surveillance state where, just like today, people are used to having just security cameras when you go virtually anywhere into the mall, into a gas station. Everybody knows that you're being videotaped. But we may be entering a phase of society, <laughs> the downfall of society, where these cameras are going to be equipped with facial recognition scanners, and especially once IPv6 go, comes into place. So everywhere you go, not only are they just going to have a record of if something happens, they can go back and, and take a look and put the footage out on the news, but they're going to just be logging everywhere that you go based on your face scan. And a lot of stores are already doing this with your cell phone. <laughs> you know, as soon as you walk into a cell phone or into a, into a store, they're, they're logging your... Uh, you know, they're logging your data with your cell phone data that's emitting either through Bluetooth or just through, through you know, connecting to the, to the cell towers. So trap wire, look it up. And, of course, these mainstream media gatekeepers don't want to tip their hand and, because people are going to get creeped out by this. When they're, because, I mean, it's, it's almost like the television show Person of Interest. Uh, if you've seen this on CBS, this show has been out for a while now, and it's about an all-knowing, all-powerful system uh, that why it's become artificially intelligent that has these exact same characteristics and so people are going to freak out but they're going to they're going to roll out some reason for it or slowly they'll say well we're, we tested it here no you've been you've been doing it i mean fort knox has had this system for 15 years this has been reported on the history channel so let it be known that uh, the, the the facial recognition person of interest type of system is in place don't even get me started on the voice printing technology and the satellite spying systems like the um, oh, I can't remember what's the what's the name of that drone that can zoom in in an entire 15 square mile radius. I did a video about it a while ago. Um, Argus, Argus drone. Go look up my video on this. They got a drone, one drone, and I mean this is a drone. Of course, they're putting these systems on satellites. One drone can watch over an, an entire 15 square mile area and just constantly record and it is straight out of person of interest so just a heads up all Super Bowl fans have been facial recognition scanned the person of interest uh, artificially intelligent really satanic software is gonna get rolled out we don't rise up and stop it I mean it might even be too late at this point so uh, just a heads up thanks for watching I'm Mark Dice. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out the previous videos. There are playlists where videos are broken down into different categories. 
and uh, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. Of course, you can check out my book on Amazon, or my books, rather. The, the Orwellian one's the main main one on this kind of technology, but I have books on the Illuminati and uh, Illuminati in the music industry as well. So they're not in stores. They're on Amazon.com. Check them out or get it on your e-reader uh, before they just ban the books. Uh, you know, well, Mar- you, you, you have, you're in violation of uh, the special... Special circumstance uh, free speech code there, Mark. Uh, sorry, just got to pull your books from Amazon.com. He's violating the terms of service, so we've just uh, decided. Uh, you're inciting people to anti-government sentiment, so I'll send you off to a FEMA camp now. <laughs>